Hi, I'm Carl and welcome back to my shop. Now, if you've been following me on Instagram, you know that I've been having a little bit of a problem recently. A um, little bit of backstory, it's getting birds into my wood stove, into the stove pipe of my wood stove. Over the past probably four or five years, I've gotten three or four um, of these blackbirds to, to get into my stove pipe. It's a six inch stove pipe and then they make it all the way down to the into my wood stove. And then if I'm not here in a few days, they end up dying and I don't like that. And to make matters probably even worse or just as bad was that last fall when I started my first fire into this wood stove, I got a bunch of smoke in my workshop. And the reason I got a bunch of smoke in my workshop was because the, these birds had built a nest during the summertime in a stove pipe so when I lit my first fire in the fall, it smoked out my shop. So it's time to take care of this problem. Now on Instagram, a few days ago, I put that I wrapped some wire around the cap of my stovepipe. But I'm not real confident that's going to work and the viewers weren't real confident either. So I'm going to go another step farther and what's in this box hopefully will take care of it. Now what I did was I ordered some um, chicken wire on Amazon. Now this wire is really made for crafting I think. It's good for crafting so if you're into chicken wire and you want to do some crafts check out my Amazon page. But um, it's about 17 inches long. Here it is. It's about 17 inches long, high I should say, and I believe it's 40 feet long. Now this is way longer than what I'm going to need obviously but I'm going to take two projects out of it. First one, of course, is to fix the cap of my wood stove. I'm going to put some of this chicken wire inside the cap of the wood stove pipe so that the birds can't get in. Then with the remaining part of this wire, I'm going to make um, a rabbit fence for this for my garden for this summer because I like, I like to garden also and I'm going to make up like a wood structure and make it so it's portable and collapsible. Now it's time to go top the roof and get out, get off the cap of the wood stove. Let's figure out how to do this. Now this is the size of the chicken wire. It's probably about a one inch square grid. See that there? I mean, it's not square. It's hexagon I guess but probably like I don't know really about three quarters of an inch gap in between so this should work quite well I would think to keep birds out or or chickens in let's face it <laughs> and hopefully rabbits out of the garden too yeah that keeps Okay, we'll do it that way. And then... Since we got some wire... Put this wire shut. Just to make sure everything stays in place. Nobody's ever going to see this. Doesn't have to be the neatest job. But I want it to be secure. Just to make sure no birds get in there. I just poked myself. Gloves are a good idea, but sometimes they just get in the way. Okay. Okay, let's start this in here.
So that's how it is so far. Let me see how it goes up in there. See how the chicken wires inside of this focus. I'm just gonna cut this off to the length that I need because I don't need all this length on here now. But I would still like this to go over top. Maybe I'll just leave it the way it is now. Cut it once I get up there, I suppose. That would be the best thing to do. I'm just gonna leave it this long right now. I take it up there, I'm gonna cut it once I get it in place. Okay, I'm up here on the roof. I'm gonna leave this wire that I put here the other day just for extra deterrent. Here's the chicken wire down here, the caps on here, of course. And um, now I'm just gonna go around here. And if you don't know, there's a screw right here. We'll just take a screwdriver, and that's how you take the cap off and you tighten this back down when you're off your back out, of course, keep it in place. It looks like it's fairly level as far as this row that way so i'll just go around and cut this bottom this chicken wire off so that you don't see it so much and this is completed now i cut all this off the bottom here it's a little bit hanging out but not too much I took off the excess and this is how much i cut off the bottom it's pretty nice here are the birds up here today, and uh, it's just a great view. Well, the chicken wire on top of the stove pipe seemed to be a success. It worked very nice. I like this chicken wire. It's like I say, it's got a small grid on it, um, three quarters of an inch or so probably. Let's just check it out. Like the width between here is. Yeah, I'll say it's three quarter. And it's pretty much um, about three quarter long too. So it's a hexagon shape, but it's pretty much three quarters by three quarters opening up the material. So um, it's nice and tight. It's like and it's woven nice and multiple times on each each piece of wire. I don't know how to describe it, but it's woven really nice. I like it. it seems pretty durable too. So remember, this is in my Amazon store if you like it. If you need some, it can be great for crafts or for gardening, keep rabbits out, or keeping birds out of your stovepipe too. <laughs> Hopefully not too many of you have that problem. If you have had birds in your stovepipes before, um, leave a comment below. I'd like to know how many people really have this problem. If it's widespread or it's just a, a kind of a fluke thing, I don't know. That should take care of this minor little project. Continuous improvement, make things a little bit better. Saving a few birds' lives so they don't get caught in my chicken coop. Chicken coop. So they know, don't get caught in my um, stovepipe. And also, this way, hopefully next fall when I make a fire for the first time, I won't get smoked out of my shop. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Have a great time. Until next time, have a great day.